Hi everyone, in today's Biblical Cities of the Holy Land video, we will take a look at the Old Testament city of Gibeon. The city of Gibeon is located in central Israel in the hill country of Benjamin. The site of the modern Arab village of El Jib was first identified as Biblical Gibeon in the 19th century, based on the similarities of the two names and its location. This identification was then confirmed during archaeological excavations at the site between 1956 to 1984, when many different jar handles with the name Gibeon inscribed upon them in ancient Hebrew were discovered at the site. The first known extra-biblical historical reference to Gibeon is found at the Bubastite portal of the Temple of Amun at Karnak in Egypt, where Gibeon is listed amongst the cities that were taken by the pharaoh Shoshank I during his campaigns into the Kingdom of Judah and Israel in the late 10th century BC. However, archaeological excavations demonstrate that a significant Canaanite city was located at the site during the earlier Bronze Age. The first mention of Gibeon in the Bible is found in Joshua chapters 9 to 10, where the Gibeonites, who were Canaanites, tricked Joshua and Israel into making an alliance with them so that they would not be destroyed by Israel. Israel was then required to defend them against Gibeon's vengeful Canaanite neighbours. Later, in 2 Samuel chapter 21 verses 1 to 14, the breaking of this treaty by King Saul, who had attacked and slew some of the Canaanites, required King David to allow the Gibeonites to avenge themselves upon seven of Saul's sons, who they then hung. Another grisly incident that occurred at Gibeon is found in 2 Samuel chapter 2 verses 12 to 32, where 12 men of King David met 12 men of Ishbosheth and fought in a deadly contest at the city beside an important pool of water, which contest resulted in the deaths of both groups of 12 men and which then led to a larger battle that was a victory for David's forces. Of note is that at Gibeon, a large spiral rock-cut pool, one of the largest such man-made water systems found in Israel, was discovered at the city during excavations. Now given the location of this pool and its size, it is commonly thought that this is the location where the bloody contest that was recorded in 2 Samuel chapter 2 took place. This famous pool may also be mentioned in Jeremiah chapter 41 verse 12. After David's reign, King Solomon visited the famous high place at Gibeon to worship God and to ask God for wisdom. The reason for this was because both the tabernacle and altar that were built during the times of Moses were then located at Gibeon, according to 1 Kings chapter 3 verses 4 to 15 and 2 Chronicles chapter 1 verses 3 to 13. It's of note that just to the south of Gibeon, a notable high place is located, which is known today as Nabi Samuel. The fact that it is located right next to Gibeon has led many to conclude that this was the place where King Solomon made his offering to God and prayed for wisdom. The discovery of many different artifacts that are related to wine production and storage have been found at the site of Gibeon, which suggests that it was an important centre for wine production during the latter part of the Kingdom of Judah. However, after its destruction in the 6th century BC by the Babylonians, the city was abandoned. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more new videos every Friday.